to Edo State, where Commissioner for Health Dr. Patrick Okundia has said the state has made modest progress in the war against the spread of Lassa fever, noting that stringent measures have been taken by the governor, uh, Godwin Obaseki, his administration, to guard against the epidemic and other communicable diseases. Speaking to journalists, the commissioner disclosed that apart from equipping the ERA Specialist Teaching Hospital for diagnosis and prompt treatment, prompt treatment, the state government is vigorously combating the deadly disease through intensive enlightenment programs. Okundia, however, implored residents of the state to prioritize their personal hygiene and imbibe measures for effective preservation of their food to guard against diseases. He said, and I quote, Lassa fever is a national issue, but as we are aware, the Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has over the years prioritized the health of Edo people, investing so much in the sector to holistically revamp the state's healthcare delivery system. The state, in collaboration with the federal government, has done a lot of interventions and supplies to the healthcare center of excellence in Edo State, which is the IRWA Specialist Teaching Hospital. Now, Dr. Patrick Okundia, Commissioner for Health in that state, joins us from Edu. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Great. Good morning, TV Africa. Uh, thank you. Uh, please bring us up to speed on the latest updates on the COVID-19 situation in Edo State. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, we are aware we are in a pandemic and Edo State is not left out. Uh, today, the 6th of May 2020, uh, we have uh, so far... Uh, total confirmed cases of uh, 65. We recorded uh, another three new confirmed cases yesterday. So bringing our total confirmed cases to 65. Uh, of course, since the outbreak, we have recorded a total suspected cases of 523, which means those are the cases whose uh, samples have been sent for testing. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, recorded four deaths. And uh, so far, we have discharged 10 of our patients. And um, we have active cases of 51 currently uh, in our isolation centers uh, across the uh, sanitarial districts of those states. Um, we have also done a lot of contact tracing following those that have been confirmed. Uh, 655 uh, persons have been on our contact uh, line listed list. And uh, out of this, 330 have exited that uh, list. Um, well, that is uh, statistics for now. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've done a lot in terms of our response to COVID-19. Currently, the screening exercise is going on, and uh, we've so far screened uh, 62,589 from all our screening sites, mm. um, both fixed, mobile, and uh, at the border posts. Yeah, that is the situation in Edo State. All right, currently. Commissioner, uh, tell us about the woman, uh, Amaka Okoro, who we understand the state government declared wanted uh, for fleeing after allegedly testing positive for COVID-19. There are reports she is threatening to sue uh, the government. Can you clarify this? Thanks a lot. Uh, it's rather unfortunate we have the issue with uh, Amaka Okoro. Um, at uh, various intervals, we tried to extray what could have happened, but we were able to find out there was not, no difficulty or problem with the approach of uh, getting him to, to come to our isolation center. I don't know whether it's a, uh, due to apprehension, but Amaka Koro um, got his uh, self tested and the result came out positive and attempted to convince her to, and her baby that even started manifesting with symptoms to come for treatment, uh, proved abortive, attempt to reach her to, at her residence, she disappeared. However, we have uh, so far investigated and found out that there are so many, uh, so far about three other persons, females, who bear the same name. Amaka Okoro, it was rather unfortunate that they, these are coincidences. Um, the re Amaka Okoro that is at large have not made any public appearance or uh, presentation in public. Uh, we are still looking for her. The others have come out uh, out of the consent to say they are not the Amaka Okoro. Hmm. And we also found that someone somewhere went out to paste the picture of another Amaka Okoro on the social media, and uh, that is the one who is threatening. But we apologize and say that is not the work of the government of the new state. Hmm. The photograph of Amaka Okoro has never been displayed for the level of confidentiality. 
and uh, we regret that action and we hope uh, whoever did that should desist from it. Right. Uh, that is a story with Tamaka Okoro. Right. Thank you for that very important clarification there. Now, what are some of the immediate challenges the state is confronting at the moment? Well, these challenges started from the very beginning. First has to do with the, the, the issue of acceptance and um, of this situation amongst the, our people. Uh, it was a, a clear task to send this message of the reality on the ground to the people of Edo State. Though there are some persons, who, even with their level of enlightenment or education, are really that stubborn and they refuse to accept that this disease is with us. So we're still battling that issue, and the level of uh, awareness is still going on to sensitize our people. Several measures have been put in place by the government of Edo State regarding social distancing and measures to break the chain of spread. But sadly, we still record some persons who may defend and refuse to comply. Mm -hmm. But we are saying the governor of Edo State, Governor Baseki, as we've said, he will not, doesn't want to apply the measure of force. Uh, and then all we're doing to, is to see how we can convince our people by continuous uh, campaigns and awareness that, please, it is for your own sake, it's for your own good. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, this is not a problem of the government, but it's everybody's a problem. And everyone should put hands on deck to see how we can come out of this uh, the breakdown and crisis. Mm -hmm. So those challenges have been there. People have been told, come out. If you have to come out, wear a face mask. Social gatherings have been banned. Social distancing is being enforced. But even at that, you still see pockets of uh, individuals you know, know, failing to comply. Uh, the, the Nigerian police force and the security pillar of, uh, of our emergency response and the response team have uh, been on their toes. They are working night and day. Currently, we still have uh, a coffee of uh, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, even at this, with these regulations, there are still some persons who still defy these orders. Mm. So those are huge challenges. Uh, but uh, with the others, uh, the government of Edo State has cl clearly uh, on top of the issues. We, we approached this uh, response from a scientific point of view uh, when the governor had to constitute a scientific team who came to give us epidemiological models and projections that has been directing the response that we've been uh, carrying on since the onset of this uh, disease. Yeah. Uh, if you recall, uh, the total number of confirmed cases was really on the low side from Edo State, uh, where we're re really below 14 number of confirmed cases. And for days, we might not even re record any, any case until we started the screening exercises. We started with the fixed posts at the facility level, both public facilities and private facilities. All right, and then we let me just interject to mobile you. screenings. Sorry, Commissioner, yes. let me just quickly interject to you to move away a bit uh, from coronavirus. Uh, quickly give us an update on the Lassa fever situation also in Edo State. Does the state still have uh, any such cases? Yeah, thank you. Uh, of course, you know, Edo State has uh, always been the epicenter of uh, Lassa fever. And this year was not an exception. Of course, we were already in the battle with Lassa fever before coronavirus came up. The Center of Excellence for Research and Treatment of Lassa fever still remains and still active in its response to Lassa fever. That is the Era Specialist Teaching Hospital. But the good news is that uh, the number of uh, confirmed cases and number of cases from Lassa has drastically reduced, which is expected at the time of the year, every year. And so, Right now, we have very few patients in the Lassa ward at the Rural Specialist Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, for over, over four days now, we've not recorded any confirmed case of Lassa fever in Edo State, and which is a good news so that uh, we can really focus more on the coronavirus. That is the situation. We expect, usually from May, the coronavirus uh, incidents gradually phase out uh, until another season comes up. Honorable Commissioner of Health at those states, uh, Patrick Okundia, thank you so very much for your time this morning and do keep safe also. Thank you to keep safe to you all.